Aha! We managed to survive! Welcome back to part two of the fight against Piasto. And yes, this fight takes a very long time. Well, not long, but it's just throwing in those cutscenes at the beginning take a little while. And hearing that there is a final... This is not the last fight against her. I've just never managed to get to the last fight with her. I think you have to beat the game again, possibly. I don't know. But... She's already pretty hard, and this is her second to last time you face her, so... That's pretty cool. And she also has this move, Deluge, which hits everybody on the screen. And it's not that strong of a move, actually, so you can be okay with that. Gonna wake up Aka. Anyway, these fights are pretty easy, guys. Just gonna keep going. The Death Hound starts healing up after a while. We're gonna wake up everybody, and now we're all back awake, and now it's time to kick some Piastal ass. And luckily, my next video my next LPs I could probably do all in one recording. And that'd be pretty cool if I could do that. If I can do them all in one recording, that'd be pretty cool. But I think if I try to uh, show you how to do everything, it'd be it'd be pretty hard. But some of some of the things I can skip out on because it's almost like if this happened, nothing changes. Just this happened, and if you don't do that, this happens. But some of them are like if you do this, something else will completely happen. I have to show you both ways of doing it. Anyway, I'll try to show you every single way of doing everything. Don't worry. It's gonna be a very well done L LP, my next one. It's gonna be a short one, but I'm gonna I'm, I'm mainly doing it just because I want to practice my LPing skills, and that's gonna be kind of cool. Well, hopefully Piastal dies soon, and we got a Pirate's Wrath we can use here, and that will probably kill Piastal. Actually, we're gonna heal up Vice first. Focus, Spirit Charge. Heal, no, no, yes, okay, it goes for Drachma. My hand just fell asleep, great. Wake up. Okay, anyway, this is gonna bother me. Sacrament Crystal. This happens every time you beat her, and you've probably noticed because you've probably faced her two times before by now, possibly, maybe. Anyway. All that's left is to defeat the Death Hound, which I didn't even touch this whole fight. Sometimes it's better to kill him first, but I didn't really bother with it. Once Piastal's dead, he's just a sitting dog. You know what I mean. And he's pretty easy, actually. He's not a hard opponent at all. You just beat him. It's not hard. Um. Yeah. And you're just gonna focus on your spirit charge, and there we go. I am noticing that some of these parts have a little bit weird, um. Cut, it, it cuts the video a little weird sometimes. I don't know. Sometimes the video looks a little weird. I don't know. It lags a little. So it's to get a little bit choppy frame rate. Other times it seems to run okay. And it might just skip some frames, which is okay, at least as long as it runs smoothly. And hopefully it doesn't ruin my next game too much, because it's got a fair bit of action going on, but... Eh, I'm doing my best. Eventually my LPs will get really good, because I'll have a new laptop and stuff like that. It's, um... Pirates Wrath that shit. And then we're just gonna everyone attack, because he's gonna be dead right after this. And we win! There we go, guys! Those are the Piastal fights. Now watch this next cutscene, because it's actually a really sick cutscene. Oh, now we get to turn him. Now she's done her silver magic, but it is okay, because the game's over now.
Oh, so she's the same age as us. Oh, so now we have more reason to tap that. I mean, you know what I mean. Father? Father! Why is her hair black? Isn't her hair pretty much white? I don't know. If you recognize that ship at the p top of the picture there, you'll notice it looks kind of familiar. It's little ten-year-old Aka. Looks like a monkey, kind of. But anyway... At least the shape of her head or something. And you see Pia also standing there with her knives, ready to chuck them. But Vice got in the way and protected it, and look what happened. He got a scar. Now that just explains everything about Vice's scar. That's what this whole thing is about, basically. Vice's scar. It's kind of cool that they can make a whole cutscene about that and a whole side quest about it. And I like it's not just a random side quest like it is in maybe Oblivion or something. But nothing, not that anything wrong with Oblivion in any way. It just causes a really cool thing, that's all. If anyone has ever found her sister, please tell me, because that'd be pretty cool if that could all connect like that, but I've yet to do that. I've never found her and I've never bothered looking for her. For all we know, she's probably valuing and she's probably dead because the rains of destruction have already come down. Now, see, there she goes. She said she'll come for us one more time. Now, I'm going to show you what happens. Now, here I am at the Sailor's Guild, and this is how you usually get the black spots. You'll remember you talk to him, you, all you have to do is leave, and then he usually gives it to you after this, like, oh, by the way, this came for you. So that's... So really, guys, I don't know. If someone wants to send me a video response, or anything explaining that, please feel free to send it. I'll make sure I bring it up. And we are officially done Skies of Arcadia, guys. So I'll see you guys later, and see you on my next video, and then the LP. See you guys later.